might happen in reality. We might at some point put on a show and get a little something done and create a TV addict in the process. For her. This is how it works. similar to a lot of people where I just was kind of naturally good at it growing up so I did it um, I did it because I got praise for it and, and I guess I enjoyed it to a degree but it wasn't until a couple years into my um, college schooling that I, I even really liked it I just kind of did it because I was good at it. And uh, I got really excited about art when I started attempting to make abstract works. So when I started challenging myself to do some pieces that were non-objective and, and uh, required my own kind of problem solving and creativity, I totally just fell in love. Well, personally, making it gets me excited because it's, it's kind of constantly an unknown. Like through the process, the, the answer or the solution to the piece is unknown. And I like searching for that solution. I like that kind of anxiety and, and challenge that it gives me. And then viewing abstract art, I think I, I, think I just get more of a a visceral or like physical satisfaction from viewing works that aren't clearly spelled out to me.
outside? Yeah. I feel like I'm a little bit more of a, a draftsman than a painter. I like to pull out my tools and my rulers and my tape and, I don't know, piece things together like they're a construction project. There's something about it I like. I think a lot of artists just need to make something with their hands, and I feel like you can't you almost don't get more satisfaction than, than uh, from physically building your artwork. Like painting it is one thing and, and composing with color and line is one thing, but actually building it is another satisfaction that I really like. I call them paintings because they will hang on the wall, but instead of just having the front surface painted, they're going to have all sides painted, and they're just a little bit sculptural. people think they have to know what the work is about to be able to appreciate it but really generally what I'm going for is not necessarily a like a message that you can articulate but just a, a feeling from the work I want the viewer to be able to like I said kind of see it and have some sort of visceral response from it because the elements align in such a way that it, I don't know, gives them a certain feeling or, or is beautiful or, um, I mean, it can remind them of something. I don't really want there to be a specific answer or message to my work, but I want, I would really hope that a viewer would be able to just kind of almost disengage their their mind or their verbal mind when they view the work and just feel it. 